In this video, we'll learn how to take any kind of graphic that you've made in Fusion and turn it into a template that you can use on the edit page. We'll be taking our Fusion Comp and turning it into a template that we can just drag down here in the edit page and we can trim to size and it's animated and we can select it and change the color, change the text and the text color and size and tracking and all the things that we might want to change for a graphic right here in the edit page. My name's Casey. I help content creators learn how to use Fusion to take their videos to the next level. If you're interested in that, I have a Fusion survival guide that is a free video course down below. Make sure to check that out. Let's jump into the tutorial. Shabam. So here I have a graphic and it just kind of pages on here. We have this nice little shine happening. I went over the actual design and kind of how to build this in this video. Make sure to check that out if you haven't yet, but it animates in like this and then it kind of stays the same for a while and then it animates out. So when you have a fusion composition like this, this is a fusion composition that lives in the media pool, right? Just a regular fusion composition. I'll rename this lower third. If I go to a timeline, bring in some kind of video here, I can grab this fusion composition right from the media pool and just drag it in and that would work. And so if you're just making like one, it's not that big of a deal to just make this as a fusion composition and just drag it in. But if you're going to, you know, use this for multiple different videos or you're gonna have multiple different names or something like that, probably gonna to want to make this into a template. Now there's a couple things to keep in mind if you're gonna make a template. When you adjust the length of the lower third, the animation is not going to work out. So at the beginning it animates in and then at the end it animates out, but we don't have enough video for that. So if I take this end and move it in like this, this doesn't animate out because the keyframes are actually over here, right? So how do we fix that? Well, let's go ahead and double click back into our lower third here. And we can fix this really simply with an effect called keyframe stretcher. Now there are a couple different ways to put on a keyframe stretcher. One way you can do it is just add it as a tool. So as a node after everything. So I could hit shift spacebar and type KEY, that'll bring up keyframe stretcher or KFS like that, I'll hit enter. And what keyframe stretcher does, if we look at our keyframes here, I'll just bring up our keyframes in the keyframe panel. If we think about our animation as having our beginning keyframes and then it's kind of static in the middle and then we have our ending keyframes, Keyframe Stretcher will stretch this middle section and keep the end frames and the beginning frames. So all we have to do is set this upright. So our first animation is from frame zero to frame 10 and our ending animation is frame 110 to 120. So if we select our Keyframe Stretcher in our nodes and go up to our inspector, we need to set a couple of our properties here. The first is the source start and end. So we're gonna go to the end here and we're at frame 119. So let's just say 119 like this. And we wanna set the stretch start and stretch end to only select this in between space where nothing is happening, right? So starting at frame you know, 11 or 12, we can kind of give it a couple frames, that would be just fine. So let's say, let's have this start at frame 12, okay? And then the end, that's gonna be frame, ooh, let's say 109, something like that. So for stretch end, we'll say 108. Okay, so now what we've done is we've told Keyframe Stretcher that anything that happens between frame 12 and frame 108 is okay just to kind of stretch out because nothing's happening, it's just static, right? So now what this will do is stretch this middle part to fill the length of the clip. So if we bring this down with our Keyframe Stretcher on it, we have this ending right here, and if we extend it out a lot, it's going to stretch that middle part and then it's still going to move out like that. The problem is that we can't make this shorter, we can only make it longer. So a good thing to do would be just to, when we create a new Fusion composition, we can make this duration really short. So we can make this like one second and hit create. We'll just call this lower third short. And I'll just grab all of my nodes from this comp and hit control C, double click and open this new comp and hit control V. And I can plug that into the media out and this will animate in. We can go to our keyframes here and we can take these keyframes right here, the ending of our animation. And we'll just put those towards the end of our comp here. So now this animates in and it stays static for a couple seconds. We gotta animate our mask too. Just kind of adjust that, there we go. And then we animate out, right? One thing that will throw you off is if you have your keyframe stretcher on here and you have it turned on, it'll kind of mess with the timing here and it'll be kind of glitchy. So if you turn this off while you're kind of adjusting the actual keyframes, then it will act as you think it would. And now, so we can take this keyframe stretcher, let's start at frame 12 and end at frame 14. So 12 and 14, and the source end is going to be 23 frames. 
So now what this will do, this should play back exactly how we would expect it to, okay? And we have that stretch happening just in this blank spot, these couple frames right here. And we turn on our keyframe stretcher and it should act as expected and that's working. So now we can go to the edit page and we can drag this short lower third on here. This is about as short as you'd ever want it. And we can extend this to the length of the clip. And now it animates in, holds there for a minute and whoosh, animates out, very nice. And so what you can do is kind of preview if your template is gonna work just by using this fusion comp. Make sure it works for all different lengths and stuff. And yeah, that's working pretty well. Cool. And now it's time to make this into an actual template. So I'm gonna open up our lower third short and we're gonna take note of what we want to change in the edit page. So one thing is we're going to want to change this text. We might want to change the color and let's just start with that. So we'll just kind of remember that. I'm gonna select all of the nodes except for media out and I'll right click here on keyframe stretcher. You can right click on any of the nodes and let's go up to macro, create macro. This brings up the macro editor and this is kind of a strange interface, but this is how we select what we want to be able to adjust in the edit page. Anything that is this kind of reddish orange is gonna be output. We have the result of the keyframe stretcher, that's just the image, and path one, which is our animation. We can just leave that, that's not gonna hurt anything. But we wanna make sure that we select the things that we want to adjust. So one thing is our purple solid here. If we twirl up image, we can see here color. And let's click on color, but we also need to click on top left green, blue, and alpha in order to have the color picker. And so we'll just call this BG color, okay? And we tick this box in order to actually have it available in the edit page. And you can select a name for it too. You can also select the defaults, minimum and maximum, but we'll just call this background color. And then we'll leave top left green, blue and alpha as they are, cause we're not gonna see them. It's kind of weird. You have to select all four of these in order for the color picker to show up. And now we'll go down to text one, roll up image. And now we're going to select anything that we want to be able to change in the edit page. So style text, font, style, color, green, blue, alpha, size, tracking, line spacing, V anchor, H anchor, yeah, something like that. So now we have a lot of control over our text. That looks good. And we'll call this clean lower third file, save as. And I'll save this somewhere really pro like our desktop. Just say clean lower third dot setting and hit save. Now to install this, there are a couple different ways you can do it. Probably the easiest way is just to open up the effects panel in Fusion and go down to templates, edit, titles, and we can just drag this settings file into these titles here. So here we have clean lower third dot setting. I'll grab this and just drag it in and that'll add it to our titles. So if I scroll down here, we should somewhere have clean lower third. There we go, clean lower third. Then we can go to the edit page and we should have this in our effects library under titles, clean lower third. There we go. I can drag this in like this and there we go. And I should be able to make this shorter and it works fine. So there we go. And if I select this, we have our text. We can change our background color. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. You can make your own templates, baby. That's awesome. So yeah, not too bad, huh? Little little way to uh, make your own templates in Fusion. Pretty cool. Hey, if you're a content creator and you want to learn more about Fusion, check out the Fusion Survival Guide. It will teach you all about working in Fusion, kind of my top 10 tips for that. And we also are making so much more Fusion stuff on the way. So make sure to subscribe and like and all the things the YouTubers usually tell you to do. Really, really all I want to know is what do you want to learn next? Why don't you, why don't you put it in the, in the, I almost said chat. <laughs> why don't you put it down in the descript, the, the comments? I know, I know a lot about how YouTube works. <laughs> uh, you're welcome.